set off to prepare for that part of the marathon. Terry, Daryl, and Doug were left to get across Quebec on their own. No one spoke or understood French. There was no publicity machine, and sadly, the message never made an impression in most of La Belle Provence. We crossed the border. We had intended to run on the highway, and uh, we were told that you can't run here. You know, you're a, a danger. You're causing a hazard to, to traffic and to yourself. And we were forced off onto a road running along the St. Lawrence River. In a 100-mile stretch, they only raised $35. The only thing that kept them going was the promise of better days to come. In Ottawa, Bill Vickers had done his job well, and a media circus would sweep Terry along his path. Terry Fox was now news. It was the start of something big. People lined the route, and money started to pour in. But there was a downside to all.